They are listening in the motel room next door from where kidnapped Anne Hancock and the movie Proper Robot 24 are being kept. Okay, I've got some of this figured out. Obviously you are a facsimile of the robot in Larry Doherty's series Starship Orion, therefore whoever you are you are fans of his science fiction movies and are using his characters to communicate with me. I assume you are watching me and that there is a microphone and some kind of two-way intercom system that you can explain what the fuck you're up to. Clever girl. And Hancock. Cut the crap, Tin Man. I'm no Dorothy and I'm not afraid of you. I am. Tin Man, I am. Robot 24 from the Starship Orion, serving Captain John Armstrong, leader of the Resistance. I'm serious, Tin Man. Enough of the bullshit. Explain yourself. Okay, you have my attention. Who are you? What should I call you? Really? I am Robot 24. Okay, our robot it is. But you're more like 13, not 24. That's not nice. Oh, we are concerned about manners and feelings, not touching. You big pile of juvenile boy fantasy junk. You know what? If you really want her to kill me, you would not have gone to all this trouble. You need me for something. Now what is it? We are making progress in the three killings. We have some evidence your people missed. We are doing a DNA analysis on a piece of chewing gum we found at the board basin, site of the first murder. Our team is good. How do you know it was the killer? We don't, but with philospectrobiometric markers of the bacteria, we have found on the gum, we do know how long ago it was thrown away, and we can get a DNA profile much quicker than your people. We also have a footprint in the carpet of the second victim's apartment, that does not belong to him. We are analyzing it for spores, soil analysis, organic sediment, chemical residue, and fibers, and we'll have more information today. It could lead us to a more exact location of where the killer has been, and maybe going. Holy shit, you guys have stuff we at the NYPD local precinct could only dream about. We'd need the FBI labs to even come close to what you are doing, and we hate having them involved. We have also identified the manufacturer the ice picks used in all three murders. It's a small, family-run, kitchen supply company in New Hampshire. They have been making the particular model since 1937. They are all 22 centimeters long, oak handle, and stainless steel pick and cap. The first pick was over 40 years old, the others were newly purchased. The company name has been sanded off on each of the picks. We have obtained and are sorting through the list of all the buyers of this particular model of ice pick. We can assume someone who buys ice picks in bulk will not be hard to find. Not a lot of demand for them. It is an unusual weapon and leads us to believe the killer or one of the killers is female and may be taking care of an elderly relative. We've come to the same conclusion. Okay Robot 13 or oh, sorry 24. Let me see what I can assume about you. You are obsessed with Larry Doherty movies, so you're probably a nerdy kid fascinated with fantasy and science fiction. Since the movie came out in 2007 and was rated PG-13, I can assume you were 10 years old or older when you first saw it. Wrong. 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 I don't think so. By the way you are reacting I think I am very right. What is or is your almost teenage girl like crush on Larry Doherty? The ice picks. I understand looking at your notes and screenshots of his film, I will find you. In the film, he uses an ice pick to kill the man who had kidnapped his daughter. So I get the ice pick. You think you are so smart, huh? You don't know anything, nothing, you are stupid. Just shut up. I am the one who tells you. You cannot talk to me like that. You are not playing fair. Oh trust me my fine robot foe, this is no game. I know more about you than you intended. That film was R-rated and came out in 2014, so you must have been 17 or 18 when you first saw it. Verging on young womanhood and Doherty is the fantasy man of many a girl's dream. It makes sense. It does not. You do not know. You do not know anything. Shut up! Just shut up. 
the torn pages from his book, describing how celebrity was painful for him, because he was shy, and felt nobody was looking after him, but everyone was looking at him. That might explain the stabbing of the eyes. They could not look at your hero anymore. You were protecting him. You killed them to protect Larry Doherty. They deserve to die. They hurt him. They really, really hurt him. I could not allow that. To be continued.